Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Modern aircraft can weigh hundreds of thousands of pounds even before they're filled with cargo and passengers. While this alone necessitates a special type of support, one also needs to consider the force with which these planes hit the runway. Over 100 years of technology have resulted in incredibly advanced landing gear systems and aircraft tires. However, even these must be inspected regularly to ensure that they do not succumb to the hundreds of tons of pressure placed on them every single day. One of the oldest and most successful tire manufacturers is Michelin, which makes products for cars, buses, racing vehicles, and aircraft. The company's products can be found on various aircraft, including military and civilian. The process starts with rubber, prepared at other facilities, and then extruded at the aircraft tire plant. The inside of the tires is lined with bead wire, a thin steel that helps secure the tire to the wheel. Much of the tire creation process is done manually, though technology is used to increase precision. This starts with the forming of the cylindrical tire casing via larger rollers. Different layers of rubber and steel are positioned one on top of the other until it's time for the tread rubber to be installed on the outside of the wheel. The casing and outer tire, known as a crown, are then fused together by inflating the casing. These are then cured in a high-pressure, high-temperature press and inspected to ensure quality. Like any other type of tire, even the best-made aircraft tires are susceptible to damage, failure, and general wear and tear. In such an event, the tires need to be switched out, just as they would for a car. However, given the size of these tires, this process is not quite so simple. Ground crews inspect commercial tires daily to check for damage. Once identified, the landing gear is carefully lifted using a hydraulic press. And the tire is removed. This allows the ground crews to inspect the inner landing gear section before replacing the tire with a new or refurbished variant. It's altogether not an unfamiliar process, but it's one that is extremely important to keep pilots and passengers safe. In the event of superficial damage, tires can be retreaded using several different processes. This actually applies to all sorts of tires, not just those designed specifically for planes. 
the most common approach, and the one used by Michelin, involves a thorough inspection of the used casings to see if they're suitable for retreading. Those that pass this inspection are injected with high-pressure air and covered with soap to identify potential punctures. After a laser evaluation, the tires are heated, and the current tread and wires are removed from the casing. Once buffed, a new outer tread can be applied atop new wire and new outer casing. Once everything is glued into place, the tire can be cured again, essentially creating a brand new tire. Even the most durable tires are only as reliable as the landing gear to which they're attached. One company that has been at the forefront of landing system development is Canada's Eru DevTech. The company has facilities worldwide and uses state-of-the-art engineering technology to create a wide variety of problem-solving landing gear for civilian and military aircraft. Each system is extensively tested at on-site facilities, ensuring they are able to stand up to the rigors of thousands of landings. One of the things that have made Aero DevTech so successful is the company's dedication to strict quality control, which includes the use of highly trained individuals, computers, and robotics. Another company that dominates the landing gear marketplace is Safran out of France. Aside from producing aircraft components, they also have cornered the market on landing gear repair and revitalization. Used gear is shipped to the Safran Aerospace Factory, where it is disassembled, cleaned, and removed from all protective treatments. The next step is a detailed inspection, done both by hand and using high-tech machines. At this point, the parts are subjected to non-destructive testing, machining, and refurbishment. This process is quite similar to making new landing components from scratch. Indeed, the quality is virtually identical. After the protective coatings are reapplied, the systems are assembled once again and shipped back to their owners. Though the landing gear and tires are essential to aircraft safety and performance, all external parts of commercial planes must be inspected regularly. Commercial and military organizations have very different procedures when it comes to maintenance, owing to the very different roles these planes are expected to fulfill. Indeed, aircraft are subjected to high atmospheric pressures, extreme temperatures, and potentially corrosive elements that can weaken the various parts of the plane's outer structure. For commercial airlines, maintenance is a near-constant process. 
On regular cycles, the planes will be placed in a hangar while crews of highly trained maintenance teams remove access panels and inspect every component one by one. After around 300,000 flight hours, the engines of a large-scale aircraft like the Boeing 777 must undergo a major overhaul. This is quite the process, as each one of the 777's engines weighs a full 8.5 tons. Once the cowling is removed, a huge specialized lift is brought in to take the newly exposed engine out. The changeover process can take up to two days and often requires around 450 man hours to complete. It will then be almost completely disassembled so that the technicians can look for any potential problems, weaknesses, or compromised parts. Once recertified, the engine is good for another 300,000 flight hours. Most commercial airlines have very strict policies regarding how the interior of the aircraft is maintained. In order to maximize the experience for the customers, a team of engineers and technicians is assigned to visit each aircraft regularly, inspecting and testing various components from the outside in. This includes checking the captain's log for any issues that need to be addressed in the cockpit, inspecting the oil levels, and checking the tire pressure. This team also ensures that all the dials and pumps are in the correct position, and checks that all the computers in the avionics compartments are functioning as intended. Lastly, the tech will address maintenance requests from ground crews, such as faulty rollers in the cargo bay. When it comes to ensuring a comfortable experience for the passengers, the first factor to consider is the aircraft seats. Modern airline seats are subject to rigorous testing during the production process, but airlines also have their own teams responsible for ensuring each set is up to their specifications. There are various seat types on each aircraft, including business class, first class, coach, and more. These different types all represent a different amount of investment by the passenger, so it's crucial they meet expectations. Due to their modular design, seats can be removed in order to facilitate a different type of cargo. With this type of system, a commercial airliner's interior can be reconfigured in a matter of minutes. Rather than merely transporting passengers from place to place, modern airlines are going to great lengths to increase passenger enjoyment. This means ensuring all plane interiors are free of damaged dirt and visible wear and tear. Even though an average plane will do several flights per day, it's the goal of many airlines to have each flight feel like the first. This means checking seats and armrests. removing debris, and inspecting all interior elements, like overhead compartments and seat belts.
In the near future, it's likely that the quality of an airline's amenities will be what separates it from the competition. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.